Hey there everybody, in this video we're going to cover the three main reasons why people don't buy from you when you have advertisements online and if you can overcome these three objections you're going to be able to increase your conversion rates and sell way more. So let's get into this video. Hey there everybody, my name is Brandon Bershears and this is the Digital Marketing Madman channel. I make daily marketing videos. So if you're interested in learning more about how to increase conversions, how to sell more online, how to generate more leads, and basically increase your business with digital marketing, then this is a great channel for you. I'd suggest that you subscribe. All right, so let's get into this video. There's only three main reasons why people don't buy things, and you can kind of boil it down to these three specific points. So the first point here is that, number one, people don't simply, they just don't want or they don't need your product. If you have this problem, really it kind of is a dead-in-the-water type problem that it's very, very difficult to convince people that they need something, especially if they think they don't need it. So simplifying your whole process and only targeting people that actually need and want your product is going to make things a lot better. I'll give you an example. If you sell, for example, fitness equipment, and you maybe do powerlifting equipment, right? And you are targeting people that are into fitness, but let's say they're into running marathons. You're not going to have somebody who runs marathons be interested in buying powerlifting equipment. They're just not going to need it. They're not going to want it. It's going to be wasted money. So even though you have somebody that you, you might say, oh, these people are into fitness, they will like my powerlifting equipment. Ultimately, only a very subset of, peop uh, of people that are into fitness are going to actually like powerlifting equipment, powerlifting training, right? And so finding people that already want and need and are expressing that want and need is going to help you to overcome so many problems in your funnel and it's going to help you to increase your conversion and make your marketing a lot more effective. So um, there's three questions that I suggest that you ask yourself before you run any ads. Um, click up there on the corner if you'd like to see that, but really it helps you to get down to the heart of who is your customer, what problems are you solving for them, and how can you reach those people more effectively. I think that if you try to really hone in on who your market is, you're going to have a lot more success and your marketing is going to be way more effective. So make sure you know exactly who your marketing is for. Make sure that your messaging is on point to those people and really dive into figuring out ultimately who you want to be taking action and the best ways to target those people. Now, the second reason why people don't buy from you, the first was they don't need it, they don't want it. The second reason is that they don't believe that you and your product is actually going to solve the problem that they have. So a lot of times people can say, oh, that sounds too good to be true, or geez, that looks good, it might be too expensive, um, I can't afford it, right? So it's not going to solve their problem that they have, and your solution isn't a viable option for them. So if you think about that, what are, what are some of the biggest objections that you have when it comes to your product or service, specifically for being able to achieve the end result that you're looking to get to? A lot of times in the marketing that we do, we have a before and after grid that we're trying to get people to identify with, right? So we're trying to say, here's what you look like before, and then here's the after, and it's going to solve all of your pain points and your problems. We get down to the heart of what it is that we're actually trying to solve here, instead of just talking about the product or services features. And so when we're, when we're doing that, we have to make sure that it seems legitimate. If you had a magic pill that, for example, said, hey, take this pill and you will lose 50 pounds in one month. Most people would say that's not true, that would not work. And so they just simply don't believe that the product works. So in creating offers that are going to work with people, especially if it's amazing results, I would say um, if the, the more dramatic the result that your product offers, the more testimonials that you're going to need and the longer that the copy is going to need to be in general, because people are going to believe that things are just too good to be true and that your product or service might not be able to deliver on the solution that they're looking for. So think about this. When you're talking about uh, to clients and to potential clients, what are the best ways to typically convince people that, hey, my product and service does do this, and here's how it does it. So usually people, you know, as, as much as reading testimonials is valuable, when people can see and hear testimonials and actually see to a, an actual person who they can relate with, their, their eyes are a lot more believable than just reading it. And I know that that sounds weird, but if you think about just any time you, you hear somebody talk, if you can see somebody can, that is confident 
and says something with authority, it's going to help you to really further your sale and give people a lot more um, confidence in your product. So as, as much as possible, create video testimonials that you can use in your marketing and your messaging so that people say, hey, this is an actual product that's working for somebody. They look like me, they sound like me, and it worked for them, there's a good chance that it could work for me. So we have that they don't need the product, they simply just don't need it, they're not the target market. They believe that the product won't work or the product won't solve their problem or it's out of their reach. And then the third one is that they will not do, they don't believe in themselves. And that sounds really weird, but if you think about it, it is totally true. So um, I'll give you an example. Let's say that you have a fitness workout. Maybe it's CrossFit, maybe it's Spartan Races, maybe it's P90X or something like that. And you see the, the advertising that's, that's there, it's appealing to a certain kind of person who it says, hey, this is insanely difficult. And that's why it's going to work. Like you're going to work out so hard that you can barely walk and it's going to be effective because it's so hardcore. And so like that's going to work to help say, hey, this product is great because it's so difficult. But at the same time, somebody might see that and say, that looks awful. I would never do that. And I know that if I buy that, I'm not going to use it just because I, I sit on the couch and my favorite thing to do is play video games. And I'm, I'm just never going to do it. So it's really interesting to study those kinds of advertisements because you see how they build themselves up and they're kind of like selling against that. Hey, it's not easy um, and you can do it, but it's not easy, right? So it's a fine line of managing that specifically with those products, it's interesting to take a look and see how they work. If you want to um, see some examples of that, if you search for P90X commercials, it's a great example of, of how to set up an ad that's kind of like selling against yourself saying, hey, this is a really difficult thing. Not everybody does it. And basically come and try and join the club and, and become a member here, especially with CrossFit. I think that a lot of times CrossFit um, gyms around, they, they try to do their best to make it look inclusive and things, but people are afraid of it. So that's something that they have to sell. Now, depending on what your product or service is, typically you have one or all of these um, things that you're having to sell against. But if you, if you do the right homework and you understand who you're, you're targeting and who your marketing is for, and then you understand not only who it's for, but what they think about the product, what are their main common questions and concerns, why they think the product won't work, if you can address those and prove that they will, and not only that, prove that it'll be easy enough for them to actually use, it's something that they're going to do and follow through with, and it's going to be the solution that they're looking for. If you solve those three problems, you're going to be able to sell your product convert more and um, it's going to be beneficial for all of your marketing. So a few tips that I think are important, making sure that you have testimonials that include, you know, these three pain points, right? So number one, like who you are. I'd like to start off testimonials by saying, like, tell me who you are, your background. That way you can identify with the person that's going to be watching this. So then they can say, hey, that's, that's like me. I'm a, you know, hey, I'm a mother of three. And the person in that commercial was a mother of three. Right. So if you're if you're making sure that you're identifying the target art audience and that they're speaking to them in the testimonial, that's really helpful. And then going over what they what they felt before, what their concerns were, what their worries were, what they thought about the product. They're, you know, especially if it's a product that like sounds too good to be true. If they say that, you know, I was really skeptical. I thought it was going to be too good to be true. But what I found was and then going into that. So, you know, really pacing your ads and your your content and interlacing in testimonials, it helps to sell more. And it also makes the conversion process a lot more scalable, a lot more predictable, and a lot easier. So if you have any questions or comments or need help with anything, please don't hesitate to comment below. And if you have any topics that you would like me to cover, please let me know as well. Now, um, if you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe, hit the thumbs up on this video, and I will see you on the next one. Have a great day.